Hello, um, we just watched uh, the new Star Wars trailer, the trailer for the new movie, um, and there's a trailer for a new game as well. Yeah. Um, we just watched the trailer for the new movie. Uh, people are going crazy about this trailer. The comments are full of people who are really, really excited. Um, I don't really get it. I didn't think the trailer was all that good. Um, so yeah, we're just going to start what we thought, of, thought about it. Uh, it starts out, obviously, with uh, the heavy breathing thing in the desert, and it was really kind of indicative of the... Um, original trailer for the what was it called the force awakens yeah the force awakens had the same which was a great trailer uh did open the same way only this time you see daisy ridley who's there and just that blank emotionless dead-eyed like mannequin that she is on the screen it was just like oh yeah i forgot you're you're in these on you um and yeah it just wasn't that interesting it wasn't very compelling uh like Again, you've just got the, the sort of dead eyes. You've got Billy D. Williams coming back wearing the same thing he wore when he was 20. It just seems weird that he's still dressing like that. Uh, to be honest, that was the, the thing that horrified me the most about the trailer was seeing um, Lando Calrissian, because he's one of my favourite characters. I really like Billy D. Williams as an actor. Mm -hmm. My first thought, I put this on Twitter but, um, before doing this uh, video, was that my, my thought was, oh, I wonder how they're going to completely bastardise this character and then kill him off unceremoniously. Yeah. Because that's what they did with Han Solo. Uh, granted, it was stipulated by Harrison Ford that he wanted to, to, to die in the movies anyway, but they did it with Luke Skywalker as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. What, what are your thoughts anyway? Enough about what I have to say about it. Well, I felt the same way as you when I saw Lando, because again, he, he is one of my favourite characters. And just seeing him there, and I'm just like, oh God, he's going to die. And he's just gonna he's just gonna ruin the character. But what I did enjoy was just seeing how happy Billy D. Williams just seemed to be the, being yeah. there because him as like from what I've seen like in interviews and you know him and other media like he's he absolutely adores Star Wars. So I don't, I don't I'm not surprised that he was called or he wanted to do it. So he's probably just wanting to do it for the sake of being in it because he loves because he loves the so like the source material so much. Which so that's in a way was quite wholesome. It's weird but, seeing him in. Sorry, I thought you were finished. Yeah, no, I'm just. Uh, I was going to um, basically just say that. Um, that that was like him and and Chewie are really the only ones that are left out of that kind of the group of like how like you know because Han's dead and Luke is yeah. apparently dead. And obviously um, the you know, Carrie Fisher as well. Yeah. Who appears in this trailer hugging again because I feel like all they shot was footage of. Of, of her hugging when she was still alive, of her hugging people. Or hugging Ray. Hugging Ray, pushing Chewbacca aside when Han Solo died. Great moment. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I mean, I'm not crazy excited about it. I was really excited about The Last Jedi, which I thought had a great trailer, and I didn't really like that film. Um, this this is a much worse trailer, and it kind of almost feels like deleted scenes from The Last Jedi at this point. It's just, it's just Luke Skywalker saying cryptic things. And to be honest, I'm not that excited about seeing Lando either, because after Solo, it's just kind of like, oh, okay, well, this character... We kind of now know he's a bit weird and, I don't know, a bit of a pervert. Your, your childhood heroes are either grumpy old men or perverts now in Star Wars. Mm -hmm. So I feel like whoever, whoever when he is killed, off, probably even off screen, when uh, Rey gets the Millennium Falcon because she's perfect in every way, um, she'll have to make sure to clean up all the USB ports. Maybe there's a button she can just eject all of the Lando calm out into the, after he fucks the ship again. Um, no, I'm not, I'm not excited about it. This is probably going to get loads of thumbs down. We watched a video... Like mid, like right after we watched the trailer, we watched someone else doing a reaction to it because uh, we thought, well, should we react? Thought, no, we'll we'll do it sincere. We'll watch it and then share our thoughts. And it was just this like really sad guy just like crying about it. And like nothing happens in the trailer. And then Emperor Palpatine laughs, and I actually didn't even know until I read the comments it was Emperor Palpatine. I thought it was Mark Hamill doing his like, spooky Joker laugh. That's what I thought like, as well. And then everyone's like, oh my god, it's Palpatine. Like, and I'm like, I don't care about Palpatine. <laughs> no, that's the problem, because like none of these characters matter anymore. It's like, I love Luke Skywalker, they fucked him up. I love Han Solo, they fucked him up. I love, you know, I, I love Lando Calrissian, they turned him into a pervert. Like, I, I, I just don't care, they're going to fuck up the Emperor as well. Like, why are people excited about this? If I see this movie, I'm not going to pay for it. I'm not condoning stealing the movie. Gemma works at a movie theater or cinema, as we say in England. Movie theater is you. Uh, most people who watch uh, our channel are American. Um, but yeah, cinema. We So I, I may see it for free. Otherwise, I'm going to wait till it comes out on home video. Because my I don't know. I kind of feel the same way I do about Game of Thrones now. Season 7 ruined my enthusiasm for Game of Thrones. And I feel like... Um, Last Jedi kind of killed my enthusiasm for Star Wars. Yeah, same um, here. It's a bit of a short trailer. We can't really, There's not much to talk about. Uh, you see what looks like the remnants of the Death Star? That's what I thought, and then no one's ever really yeah. gone. Yeah, and then they say, he's like, remember, no one's ever really gone. I'm like, 
What? Is it, yeah, you all turn into ghosts when you die, all you Jedi types. Okay, that's fine. Like, who gives a shit? Like, what does any of it mean? It was it was really cryptic, which I guess is the point of a teaser, but it didn't... I, I didn't feel teased, you know? I didn't feel excited. I just felt like, yep, there's a new Star Wars coming out. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know. Yeah. Um, but if let us know what you thought uh, in the comments uh, in the comments section. I pointed and then I realised that the camera is not here where I've been looking. It's over here. Um, this, this is Gemma's point. Um, so leave in the there we are in the comments section what you thought of the trailer. Did you like it? Do you think we're being unnecessarily harsh? Um, if you like this low effort content, we also make high effort content or comparatively high effort content. You can subscribe for that as well. We'll see you next time. Sorry about the shaking. Um, I have a lot of sugar in my system. Bye bye. Bye.